Hello, my name is John Femiani, and with Peihao Zhu, we're going to present Barbershop, an effective and robust solution to hairstyle transfer using GAN-based image compositing with segmentation masks. So this is me, a um, little bit of a shorter beard. And the question is, um, have you ever wondered what you would look like with another person's hairstyle? And with Barbershop, you can do that. With Brad Pitt, um, a more reddish hairstyle, if you like. Long might be your thing with the ponytail. Or maybe the Anne Hathaway look is your cup of tea. Suppose you'd like to see this person uh, with this backlit hairstyle. We can do that. We can actually take large hair and replace it with shorter hair and rely on the generative adversarial network to synthesize an appropriate background. Previous approaches exhibit artifacts on the boundary of the hair. We'll take a, a little look here at uh, some details so you can see looking closely at the boundary what they look like. These are significantly reduced in our results. So simple image editing tools such as cut and paste provide full control of all of the details, but they lack the semantic understanding needed to make realistic edits automatically. By contrast, a generative adversarial network, or a GAN, is capable of producing highly realistic images randomly. However, it, in order to process and reconstruct an actual input image, an embedding algorithm is required. You have to map the input image into the GAN's latent space. This process of embedding can introduce reconstruction errors in the face and hair as seen here. It's especially obvious when people are doing things or have qualities that weren't present in the original training space. Our novel approach combines the best of both worlds, a GAN and embedding, and we introduce a new FS latent space. It has much higher capacity um, at a cost of, it's a little bit harder to edit with. Um, we use this FS latent space in order to copy and paste parts from different images with spatial control and still have the ability to make highly realistic images. In particular, we're going to build on the StyleGAN2 architecture and extend the II2S or improved image to StyleGAN embedding algorithm. Similar to a little bit on II2S is that similar to image to style GAN, II2S uses a W plus latent code for embedding. And it demonstrated that regularization of the latent codes in a special P norm space, uh, it can lead to better embedding quality, especially when you want to manipulate them. However, II2S is slightly biased towards latent codes that uh, have a higher probability according to your training set. This can reduce the uh, prominence of certain unusual features such as nose rings or odd facial asymmetric, especially facial expressions, uh, blemishes, um, especially if they're not common in the training set. So in order to increase the capacity of our embedding and to capture image details, we embed the images using a new latent code, C equals FS. Um, it's comprised of a structure tensor F and an appearance code S. This proposed FS space, it provides more capacity, more degrees of freedom to capture the individual details that vary with hair, like to be specific about this chaotic hair. Um, as well as facial details like moles and, and wrinkles. So 
here's a, an overview of our image compositing pipeline. And next, we'll explain the major steps, including a bit more about that F in the FS space in the following sequence. We're going to have Peihao take over from here. Here is an overview of our image compositing pipeline. Next, I will explain the major steps of our method step by step. First, we will talk about the target mask. In order to create composited images, the first step is to construct a segmentation mask M. Specifically, the first step is to select the reference images, segment them, and then to select the regions in the reference image that should be copied to the target image. To construct a target mask automatically, segmentation regions are sorted from back to front and then composited over each other. Some pixels may not be covered by any of the segmentation masks, as shown in the white area below. In this case, a portion of the target mask will be impainted using a heuristic method, and then the regions can be composited. Alternatively, users can manually edit the target segmentation masks, although none of the results we show are based on that. In this example, we would like to have the face from the image on the top and the hair from the image on the bottom. Column A is our input image, and column B shows our reconstructions in the highly detailed new FS space. Here, the F code is initialized using the activations of StyleGAN2, and the additional degrees of freedom in the F code allow us to further optimize it using the laws shown in the slides. In particular, the LF10 keeps the F code similar to the code you would get from the W plus code optimization using RI2S. F codes are specially correlated, so the shape and position of features in this column need to be aligned to the regions of the mask in column C. As shown here in column D, this is especially obvious in the hair of the top image which is changed while making sure that other qualities of the reference images are preserved. The first step in accomplishing this is to find a new W plus code for the aligned images. The process of doing that is to compose a segmentation network with the generator from StyleGAN2, and then to use the cross entropy to align that segmentation mask with our target mask. In addition to minimizing the alignment laws, we also have a style loss term which uses gram matrices to ensure that the average or the overall appearance within which the region is preserved. Record that the FS code has higher capacity and more details than the W plus code. The next step is to transfer details from the original images where it is valid to do so. We transfer details where the original and the target shapes of each feature overlap. The overlapping regions are downsampled by cubic tree to match the dimensions of the F codes. Details from the reconstructed images are transferred in and are blended into the F code. We now have an aligned latent representation for each referenced image. Next, we can create a composited image by combining the regions of each structure tensor using alpha blending. The F code allows us to transfer large elements or structure, but the hair color and texture is achieved by blending the style codes. Each element of the style code is a mixture of the corresponding element from the reference images. The ways used to mix them must be chosen so that each region is a good reconstruction of the correct reference image. We use the LORS L mask, which is a masked version of L pips LORS. It uses the same distance, but it only compares to pixels that come from the corresponding reference image. The result is S blend that reconstructs the hair appearance. All of the images on this slide uses this phase, only the hair is modified. By mixing the shape and the structure, which is coarse features captured by the F-code and appearance, we are able to use different reference images for each attribute. 
This hairstyle gallery shows different hairstyles applied to a person by varying the hair structure and appearance. Hair visual a qualitative ablation study. Our goal is to be both realistic and specific. We want to generate a believable image and one that preserves the features of the input. These are the original images before the hairstyle transfer. Here we show the target hair image as well as the target masks. When we use only the W plus code and no alignment step, we are not realistic and we are not specific. When we use the FS code, we are able to reconstruct much more of the individual appearance of some parts, but the lack of alignment still causes blending artifacts. When we use only the W plus code, but then we also include the alignment step, the results are very realistic, but not specific. And finally, when we use the FS and alignment code, we get realistic results, which still look like the original person. Our method also have multiple limitations. The main limitation is caused by the way we create the target masks. Misaligned segmentation masks can lead to implausible images. Also, our reconstruction is much more detailed than other methods, but it can fail to capture the features like the nose ring. Occlusion can also produce confusing results. And gain inversion is not always successful in general. It has interpreted this person's lip as teeth. Very thin structures can also be hard to be represented in the F code. And our detail transfer approach only works where the regions overlap. In some cases, the other regions don't match. Finally, our approach relies on a realistic target image. We can synthesize images from any pose, but when the reference images are individually looking at, are looking in different directions, the results can be strange. The main focus of our work is on completely automated hair transfer. However, it's possible to overcome many of the challenges and the limitations by allowing a very limited set of user in interactions. In this example, Flipping the hair region from left to right produces a more plausible mask. Here we can see that translating the mask is enough to generate plausible results. Hair is extremely complex, and so that is our focus. But our framework is not limited to hair. In this example, we will use the same approach on facial features. On the top row, we transfer the eyes, including the eyebrows. The shapes are indicated in pink. This image is an identity image. The blue region is transferred over. This image is used to transfer the cost structure of the eyes. That's the larger features. And inside on the bottom right, we have different images used to transfer the appearance. That would be the color, for example. You can see that we are able to transfer the eyes in various situations. The second row applies the same approach to the eyes, nose, and mouth. And then the last row, we do the same also for the skin of the subject as well in the face. We compare our method against the concurrent work in StyleMapGAN. StyleMapGAN does have few artifacts than the previous state of the art. However, we observe that our proposed solution is more capable of preserving the details of composited parts. In summary, we are able to separately control the overall shape of the hair and the structure, such as curly versus straight hair, and the appearance such as color or the micro texture of the hair. Notice that the details of the original face are preserved and the seamless boundary of the composited hair region. We are able to change hair colors, keeping the structure and shape fixed. And of course, the complete process of copying the shape, the structure, and appearance of the hair from a reference image. Finally, also we show the most challenging cases where the hair shape and hair structure come from different images. Thank you.